Hello everyone, welcome back to our math channel, Math Bridges Fun with Math. In the previous video, we have seen the metric conversion of length. In today's video, we will see metric conversion of weight. How to convert the higher units into smaller units and smaller units into bigger units. Hope you remember this one. A mnemonic I have given. King Henry does not usually drink chocolate milk. So what does it mean? K means kilo. H for Henry means hecto. Does not. D means deca. U usually means it is unit, basic unit. If it is in length, we consider it to be as meter. If it is in weight, we consider it to be as gram. If it is in uh, volume, we consider it to be as liters. And drink means deci, centi, chocolate means here centi and milk means m milli. So we have to remember this one, this mnemonic, it will help you for in the conversions. King Henry does not usually drink chocolate milk. Let's see the conversions now. Here clearly I have mentioned here, if you observe conversion from bigger units to smaller units in measurement of weight, kilogram, hectogram and decagram are the bigger units, whereas decigram, centigram and milligram are the smaller units, whereas gram is the basic unit. So now kilogram to hectogram or else hectogram to decagram you can see multiples of 10 we have taken now we will convert the measurement of given weights bigger units into smaller units here you can draw this tabular column actually it's not necessary just you can write kg hg dag it means king henry does not usually drink chocolate milk as per your convenience you can write it let's check with an example 3 hg means 3 hectogram, we have to convert it into centigram. So, first you see where is hg, means hectogram. So, we are writing here 3 and we are converting into centigram. So, where is centigram? Here 0. So, what we have to do? Remaining all the places, you can take it to be as zeros, means multiples of 10. hg, dag into 10, into 10, into 10. So, 3 hectogram is how many centigrams? It is 30,000 centigrams. Now, let's see one more example. 2 kg into grams. First, you see where is kg. So, you write it 2 over here. We are converting it into grams, smaller unit. So, where is gram there? You mention one zero. So, remaining wherever the empty boxes are there, you fill it with zeros. Therefore, 2 kg is 2,000 grams. Means what did we do? Just recall the previous slide. Kg to gram here into 10 into 10 into 10 means it's 1000 10 10 is 100 100 10 is 1000 so 2 kg is 2000 grams now 7 dag means 7 decagram we have to convert it into milligrams first you identify where is 7 decagram so 7 we are writing here we are converting it into mg so near mg you consider it to be as 10 now what we are doing just the remaining boxes you take it to be as 0 so, 7 decagram is equals to 70,000 milligrams. Now, 5 kg equals to how many decagram? So, 5 kg. First, you identify where is kg. Kg is here. So, write 5 over here. And dag, where it is? Here. So, 1, 0. So, how many it is? 5 kg equals to 500 decagram will be very easy instead of taking this box just you can write the mnemonic here itself king henry does not usually drink chocolate milk so as its weight you consider g so as per the question you can write the zeros and the number whatever it is and you can find the conversions now if you observe this metric chart we are going to convert the smaller units into bigger units where you can see divided by 10 we are considering now here means each metric unit it gets 10 times smaller now so let's see how to convert it now let's check with an example let's convert 4.75 centigrams into grams see centigram it's a smaller one we are converting into bigger unit it's grams so same as usual king henry does not usually drink chocolate milk so as its weight kg hg dag gram dg cg and mg now 4.75 cg where is cg you see here so we are starting over here 5 7 and 4 so what we have to do here now this is the starting point and this is the ending point so one two jumps so two units to the left we have to move the decimal point 
So what does it mean? If you are taking it to be as 4.75, from this place, the decimal point, you have to take two places towards your left hand side. 1, 2. Therefore, the answer will be 0.0475 grams. Let's check out with some more examples so that you can understand better. Now let's see the conversion of smaller units into bigger units using some examples. 6 grams into kilograms. Here itself you can observe grams is a smaller unit whereas kilogram is a bigger unit. First you write this mnemonic King Henry does not usually drink chocolate milk. So as its weight kg, hg, dag, gram, dg, cg and mg. Where is kg here? 6 grams it is. So where is gram you observe first. Grams is here. So you write 6 over here. Now kg is here. So 1 0 between also you take zeros. Now how do we put the decimal point? See how many jumps it is. It is we are dividing by 10 here. Isn't it? So 1 2 3 jumps. So after 3 digits from your left keep the decimal point 1 2 3. Therefore it will be 0 0.006 kg. Simple 3 jumps you are taking. So after three digits from the starting point, red color have taken six from the starting point, keep the decimal point after three digits from the left. Let's see one more example. 14 centigram into hectogram we have to convert. 14 centigram here, centigram. So one four. These are the starting point. Four under centigram we are taking. Now convert into hg. Hg is here. Final point zero. In between you consider zeros. Now see the jumps how many? 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 means you have to keep a decimal point towards the left hand side. 1, 2, 3, 4 from the starting point. See, therefore, your answer will be 0 0.0014 hectogram. Or else, one more easy technique 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 digits. Minus 1 you do. Means after 4 digits from the left, you can keep the decimal point or else. Now, 12.5 centigram into grams. You see, I have taken a stomach over here. It's a decimal point now. But no need to worry. As it is, you write it centigram. Under this, you take 12.5. 5 is the starting point. So, we are converting into grams. We have ended at the same place, gram. So, now how to keep the decimal? See, two jumps. So, move the decimal point two units to the left. Two units from here. One, two. Therefore, we'll get... 0.125 you can see here 1 2 means here you will get 0.125 grams is your answer one more with the decimal point 6.7 mg into decagram you have to convert dag 6.7 mg mg is here therefore 6.7 we are taking dag here we have to convert so 0 ending point in between take zeros now, I am doing without this jumps and all. You can make out now. How many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, minus 1 means 4. So, move the decimal point 4 units towards the left. Means from here, 1, 2, 3, 4. Therefore, your answer is 0.00067 DAG. You can practice many more sums. It will be very easy for you. Once you practice, the conversions will become easy. Same you can take it to be as in length and also weight and capacity. We'll follow the same method. Thank you for watching the video. Like, share and subscribe to our channel Math Bridges Fun with Math and do share it with your friends.